Captain's Blog. It is Friday, August 5th, 12.59 hours, and I'm here with Craig. Hey, everybody. Ham radio guru, and we've got this that he brought in. It's an old Yaesu FT-301, and this is just cool. Now, one of the cool things that we came across playing with this is we hit a slow-scan TV signal, and this is just kind of neat. Check this out. Turn that up so you guys can hear it. That is the sound of slow scan television. So, if only we had a big giant monitor, you know, anywhere near the radio, like right next to it. If we, if we had a big giant monitor and a computer, we could hook this up and what, what you're hearing are the individual scan lines of a TV signal. So right now on the screen you'd be seeing like that, and it makes one picture at a time. It's called slow scan TV. It's not, it's not like regular American TV, which is 29 point change, uh, I think it's like 29.97 pictures per second. This, this is just one picture at a time, and you, you can get stuff like this from space. It's, it's pretty cool. So, yep, this is what Craig did, and I'm sure there's a nifty antenna up on the roof that we'll have to go get a look at. And uh, yeah, so what's, what's the story here? Well, this used to be my rig. Uh, I got it, oh, 15 years ago when I first got my ticket. And it's been sitting in the basement for the past, oh, 10 years or so. Followed me in a couple moves. Figured I'd bring it along and let someone else play with it instead of letting it collect dust. That's a pretty cool idea. And it gives me an idea. Because you're probably not the only guy out there with an old radio that's been sitting in their basement for 20 years collecting dust. So what we should do is put the word out, because there's, there's got to be a bunch of like old 70s, 80s vintage radios that aren't old enough to be really, really collector's items and aren't new enough to be really, really useful, and they're just sitting. So if you have an old radio out there that you're not using, I don't care if it's a 23-channel CB. If you have an old radio, old ham rig, anything like that that's just collecting dust, Get a hold of us. Comment on this video. Send me an email right here, info at thegeekgroup.org. And you can donate your radio, and we'll put it here in the hands of kids that will tinker with it. Because this is cool! We don't care if it's old 70s vintage tech. It's cool, and it's, it's neat. I actually kind of prefer this, because this, you're actually, you're turning a knob. And you can actually hear things, and you don't, it's not like with the modern digital stuff. This, this has a totally different vibe to it. It has a totally different feel. Oh, hear that? That's digital communication. And there's just, there's a whole world of things out there to hear. And it gets way better at night. Like right now, we're in the 20 meter band. And you, you get into the high frequency stuff at night, you get into EHF stuff, and there's, there's a whole world of things to explore. And you just sit here and twiddle a knob and see what you hear. And there's a lot of old radios out there that need love. And we want to give them love. And Craig wants to give them love. Craig likes to tinker. And we got a whole world of guys that want to come here. And yeah, it's old 70s tech. But the technology, the fundamentals of learning about wavelength and frequency, harmonics, you know, just basic signal path stuff, antenna design. Okay, the, the antenna on this radio is the exact same as an antenna for a modern digital radio. It's still waves, it's still electromagnetic waves. And it's still studying the electromagnetic spectrum and communications. And this radio, with a computer hooked to it, can send digital stuff. No problem. So, we want your stuff. Get involved. This is a chance where you can pull some crufty bit of crap out of your basement and ship it over here and we will give it a loving home and you get to tax right off. So, you know, it's a win. All right, I'll be back. There's more going on. 1754 hours, and I'm out here with the gang, the Off the Grid team, whose names you don't need to know. And uh, we're getting ready to gear up for the Juggalo convention. What, what do they call it? There's the a name? Gathering of the Juggalos. The Gathering of the Juggalos. Oh, here, we got to show that wasp nest. It's Son pretty shredded now. Yeah. It's, it's pretty shredded out now, but there's like a little nest here. This thing was the size of a basketball. It, it filled this whole space. Well, you, you can see the nest right there. That's, that right is, there. there's like, there's actually like four nests there. No, there's, there's a nest there. There's another one there. 
that went up on the thing and hung from the top. But yeah, just massive wasp nests. And there'll probably be more. Unless you find out I'm dead. Yeah. So yeah, we're 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 gonna apocalypse this van, the, or this camper. It's it's gonna be a thing. Oh yeah, that's uh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> the dog is uh, curious. That works. It's a good look for you, Batman. <laughs> it's the glasses that sell it. Yeah, it's. Yep. Yep. He's here for your daughter. Yeah. I want this all the time. <laughs> I, I want it so hard. We'll, make, we'll make a holster for her time. so she can carry it around. Oh yeah. It's so sweet. This is the best. That's badass. <laughs> what are we destroying with this? The well, we have to we have to remove the contents of the camper. All right. So someone's fucking. Go forth and break shit. <laughs> How do That's I? That's a tool for like zombie vampires. Just. Get violent, really, is all you need to do. I can just get anything I want whenever I want to. It's your to. camper, it's not my camper. Oh, yeah, yeah, smash the interior stuff first. Here, here, yeah. All right. Let's, this will be a fun oh, shot. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is fucking sweet. <laughs> yeah, don't break those boxes quite here. yet, because <laughs> we're going to do something with that. But I'm break the shit out of this. I'm going to get hit in the face with this. Hold on. Wait, hold too much Attached to it, are yeah. they dead? Oh, no, they're what? all alive. Where? Where'd yeah. he go? Where'd he go? It's right there. He's in the back Climbing corner. up the wall. Oh, oh, yeah, we got a live one. There's and eight. yeah, there's babies attached to yeah, it. Yeah, that's the one I saw yesterday. Where is it? It's right here. It's trying to find Chris a way out. Gun, right? There. Go, go that way. Go that way. Watch out. Oh, it's coming at you. Oh, he's going in there. All right. Well, we wanted yeah, to. Yeah, we got mice. Come on. <laughs> are those dead? Oh, no, they're very much alive. We can fix that. Yeah, Grab a sledgehammer. Well, I'm just trying to drive it over out the door. Well, that's 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 a keeper there. The, the, there it goes. Wait. Whoever, whoever built the doorway, dude. Get back. Get back. Get back. I think it's scared of you. Just get whoever, over the door. Whoever built the camper. Well, I'm gonna make sure it does run out the door. Go. Oh, that's P. Fucking go. The louder you bang, the more scared they're gonna get. You have to physically shove them. Use a piece of wood or something. Idea. You're wearing gloves. Just grab yes. them. Come on, have you guys ever had hamsters? Grab them by the tail and pull them right on out. Over there. Oh, Which no. tail? Oh, come on. Uh, the big tail. I love the baby that's still just drinking. Yeah, they're just chilling. Go. Oh, oh don't. Baby's like milk. <laughs> Got milk. Go. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, that's like bad video game. I hate to break this to you guys, but mice don't ever live alone. They're uh, rather yeah. social creatures. How many more this is the one that I saw yesterday. All right. That I saw yesterday. Pull it right out. Pull the whole nest right out. Ah, cool. Smells like pee. Got that urine away. Uh... No, the the bleach will get rid of that once we yeah, get everything so empty. The bleach comes well, I like the bottle. Just I got oh, some they're away. climbing, dude. This thing is climbing. I got some mouse poison downstairs. Come on, you little motherfucker. These are the dumbest fucking mice in the world. <laughs> From the fridge section. Omni, go get, go get him. Go get him, Omni. Like, oh, yeah. Hunter? Yeah, vicious attack. Get him. Like there's another Batman, oh. break some shit, please. Show them how it's done. Yeah. It. Oh. Thank you, Batman. Uh, now break low. <laughs> oh. Should have brought uh, those surgical masks with us. It won't help the stink. To get past the stink, the secret is you get a little jar of Vicks. 
taking a shot at I just hope those guys know that they're about to get the I don't think they're going to get the Uh oh. Mexican Wait, oh, hang on, what do we got? Uh, the what do you got? Oh, uh, more just more nests. Wasps nests? No, I oh. think these are uh, No, those are wasps. Bees. Are they? Yeah, those are wasps. That's wasps. Do we need okay. to spray? No, they're dead. I think Sean is right. I think they'll sneak out. If, if they were live, you'd know by now. Yeah, there's a lot of them. You, you would very muchly know. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, that, uh, that vent goes right to where that nest was, so... I didn't realize wasps and mice were getting along so well. Apparently they were doing all right. It's the oh, circle of life. Of, uh, baby mice were still attached to it since yesterday. <laughs> well, baby mice didn't give a shit. They really Dude, did they just like latch on baby and fucking go at it. Shit. Can you imagine yeah, running mice, away from a giant nipples. with a sledgehammer having a, a bunch of like children attached to your nipples? Sounds pretty hardcore. Sounds really metal. <laughs> Baby gave up on holding on the nipples and went over this way while Mama and the other one. Like, oh, <laughs> He's like, no, we came from that direction. We're going to die. Omni does not want to be its friend. And no, we don't need any lab mice. <laughs> 1822 hours, and here's something kind of cool. We're doing a demo on one of the Haas machines, and we've got live video going out to the internet right now, and you can see the big camera crane set up. There's actually a little camera mounted on the bottom. Up there, you can see it right there. 
and that's shooting a time lapse. This whole cutting on this um, will take approximately 150 hours to do the whole finished thing. And it's gonna be a pretty awesome thing when it's done, so that'll be cool. It's, it's epic. It's easily the largest CNC program I've ever seen. And, and we do, you know, we do some pretty intricate stuff here. Here's something to uh, put things in a little bit of perspective for you. This here, now these are about 50 bucks a piece. And this is uh, exit signs, battery backup exit signs LED with uh, emergency lights. These are just exit lights and you can see they're 2206 a piece. Okay, and these are also 20 bucks a piece. And these are just the lights without the signs. So we have the lights, the signs, and the lights with the signs. Now these are about 50, these are each about 20. Now that stack of them, all of that does just this area. Because think about it, the, the building is so convoluted, it's so twisted around with all the, the little, you know, the weird sight lines and that, that anywhere that you are, you need to be able to, to see an exit sign. So it's really hard for the electricians to do this, and we want to make sure that, you know, we totally blast away exceeding code. We want to, like, just own this. And uh, so, like, you need, if you're standing here, there'll be an exit sign. You can see they got the box and there's going to be an exit sign there that points off that way towards the doors. So you need an exit sign there. But if you're up there, or if you're down there, it's, it's all different. So there needs to, there's actually going to be an exit sign up here. There's going to be an exit sign up here. There's going to be an exit sign right here. There's going to be an exit sign at the other end of the hallway. I, it's, it's nuts. Plus up there. Huh? Plus up yeah, plus up, up there. Because you can't, if, if you're up there, you won't be able to see the exit sign that's right here. But it's just, it's madness. It's just, so yeah, this is, just gives you an idea of the scope involved. We need that giant stack of emergency lights and exit signs just for the lobby cafe offices area. It's, wow. All right, check this out. This is what they did today. Awesome guys from DVT started pulling in wire. Yay! They just started everything, but look at this. Proper color codes, tags. It's beautiful. You know where everything goes. It all makes sense. They've got things pigtailed out the walls now. All the boxes are in. There's boxes over there. There's boxes over here. All down the wall for all the, the restaurant equipment. New stuff in the ceiling. It's really, it's, it's getting there. It's getting nice. Stuff up there. Light switches. And then out here. Hallway's looking way better. Um, this one stays. This, this wire here is actually temporary. That's our communications feed from the high voltage lab for the video and audio. But check that out. There's another emergency light. And it goes there. It goes all the way back up that way down the hall. And that goes down here. And that's the feed for that bathroom. And I'm tripping over a hose. No, 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 that's, that's the feed for the fans. Oh, that's fans? Yeah. Okay. Feed for the bathroom, feed for the other bathroom. Oh, okay. That doesn't do the janitor closet right it there? It also does the janitor closet. Oh, okay. So, what's this one? Light? Yep, light okay. and then another emergency light. Okay, E light, and then that'll be a light, and then that'll be an emergency light, and yeah, it's, it's progress, man. Oh, we can show them the uh, old stuff we found. Where? And uh, high voltage. Oh, so yeah. Where is that? Where's the burned right out there. one? Where? Oh, yeah. Check, check out the exit sign. Look at, look at this. See? That's what happens when you wire a building like that. See how it's all torched out? Yup. Good job, guys. Good job. One yeah, screw there's... holding all of that up. This box wasn't even mounted to the wall. Yeah, that's, this is just... I'm, I'm glad we're fixing all this stuff. That we're ripping all this out and we've got proper electricians in here. Ah. All right, well, that's the day. You guys have fun. I'm, uh, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna go eat. And yeah, that's today's captain's blog. I'm Chris. That's Dave, who rules. It happens. And you're not. See you tomorrow. Bye.